All right, man. Today, we're just going to draw some cars. So, now here's the thing I, I say when, I, when you're drawing cars. You got to use reference, I think, <laughs> to do cars right. But, and here's the key, is you got to know how to use the right reference. You got to know how to find the right reference to draw your car. So the first thing I would like you to do actually is go before you watch this video is go and watch my you know, how to draw perspective in art, or understanding perspective in art, because that's really, really important to understanding what I'm about to explain to you now. And that is how to find the right reference. You have to know your perspective. So here's I'm going to have three examples. Here's the first one. This is the kind of reference you don't really want. And the reason is because this is a, like a car ad and they tend to shoot these far away, which means the perspective, this is two point perspective. You're looking at it, you know, you know, straight on the horizon. So your, your two points are going to go way off the screen. Let me show you here. Let's see if I got this. Okay. Um, see the, these, these perspective points on this side of the car and these perspective points, are going way way off the paper now if you want something three-dimensional you gotta you have to have those those two points just off the edge of the paper but you know comfortably off and you kind of have to find a feel for that and i say watch my video on perspective and you'll kind of get a better better understanding of what i'm talking about but if, if, the, if the two perspective lines are too far off it's uh going to be flat looking now the only way you could use this car is effectively with reference is if it was way back in the distance where these perspective lines would be closer, uh, you know, just going off the page, which would be fine. So that would be, that'd be a good piece. So if this is the first one you want to avoid cars from car ads and stuff like that. Like I said, they shoot it from with a longer lens. So they're farther away. That means it's going to get, they, they want it to look longer and flatter and, and that's the effect that they want. But the, for you, for you to use it in reference where you're trying to walk, walk into the page and make it three dimensional coming at you, uh, that this isn't really good reference. So that one is one you do not really want. So avoid that, those nice photos of car ad photos. Now here's the other, another example. Uh, this is also what you want to try to avoid. And that is these opposite effect where someone took a, a picture with a, a wide angle lens because those two perspective points that were way off the page in the other one are now too close together. So they they're too close on the edge of the page this one is actually looks like it's almost on the page and what that means is you have massive distortion and that's probably preferable to the other one as far as giving your your car some action and flow and energy but it's still kind of it's this is a bit much because the problem is all of your perspective points will really everything else you have to draw everything else in that weird perspective so if you pick this car all your buildings all your people Everything's got to be really, really weird. As a matter of fact, this is not just two-point perspective. It's three-point perspective, you see, because you can see the, the lines going down into the ground here. So that's why this looks so distorted. So that one's a no-go, too. This is the reference I'm going to choose. And you can see why now. Because it's two-point perspective, but it goes off the page, you know, a little ways, but not too far. So it's... It could be a, a little flat, perhaps, but it's it's still fine. It's it's good. So this is what you want. You want the, those two perspective points to be just off the page a bit, but not too far, not way off the you know the edge of your room when you're on your drawing table, but uh, also not really too far and close. So this is good reference. Two point perspective. It looks like you can walk into it, and it it looks realistic. But again, watch my video on perspective, and you'll get a better beat on what I'm talking about. So we have our reference. Let's see. Okay, I got a car already. I'm using that car. All right, I'm going to take this stuff and I'm going to leave all these perspective points out. I'm going to bring that, that opacity way, way down here. Well, maybe not too far down. Actually, I think I'll put these lines, the car in front of the lines here for a moment. Too. So I'm going to draw the car. So. I'm going to get to working on this car a bit and we're going to show you what, you know, cause what, what can you, how can you make this car exciting? Because 
because it's not, you know, it, it, you don't want to make it look like it's just a traced car. So I'm going to do this, but I'm, you know, I would probably use, you know, sweeps and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, those curve rulers is what sweeps are. Um, if I was, you know, doing this nicely, but I'm just going to do it quick here. It's actually good to do these things if you can freehand because it, it gets more feel for the for the movement of the of the car. So the what I the way I approach it is you know doing a cool car is it's like I approach you know when I draw horses or something like that is draw what doesn't really change first and then draw what you what you can change to make it more exciting and that's going to be the wheels. Give him a little Chevy bow tie there. Now there's a lot all this with all this grill stuff. Honestly, it's it's you're looking to make it comic booky, and when you make something comic booky, you do tend to simplify. So I will black out most of that grill. Maybe I'll show a little bit of indication of the grill. Now there's a tool down here. It's got this little spinny thing here. This is a great tool because you can turn your page. <laughs> this is, it used to be they didn't have this tool back in, when I was starting out in Photoshop and it was a real pain. But man, when you can do it, you can turn it, then you can get your, it's easier to make a stroke going down, that sort of thing. So that's what's so cool about it. And you know, well, maybe it depends on your preference. You could be better at making a, a stroke going across. I don't know. For me, down is better. Okay. So this doesn't take all day. I'll probably simplify some of this stuff here. But uh cause this one's pretty cool. Okay. Getting the grill here. A lot of cuts in this car. A lot of cool design stuff going on. Now I'm going to do, you know, a few of these triangles that they got in here. But for the most part, I'm going to put. Make this mostly blackened out. It'll be, it'll actually look better too. It'll look more comic like, you know. You want to, what we're trying to do is not make it look like it's a photo. How do you interpret this? Whoops, I need my table there. Okay. Okay. Now the outside line, I'm going to make it rather bold. Relatively speaking, you don't want to go too bold. If, you know, keep it because it. Well, you can if you want. If, it depends on your style, but you're. If you want to. Uh, give a nice, nice, you know, high tech look to something. The thinner lines are better. But with this, again, I'm trying to get a little more feel. Get that 
mirror in there. The you know, cars are so difficult because they're not, you know, they're not an oval, and yet they're not a square either, not a rectangle. And that means figuring them out is so, it's, it's so difficult to get them right, nearly impossible. To really, they always look wrong when you draw them from uh, from scratch. I do, you know, especially for me, you know, when I worked in storyboards and stuff, I was I draw a lot of cars and for you know auto companies and stuff like that. And uh, you end up thinking, you end up realizing pretty quick that reference is pretty necessary to get get these cars right. Now these lines do not have to be perfect because it actually adds a little more life to the drawing. Like I said, if it's too realistic, we're trying to get away from the photo. Okay. Little details are kind of fun to add. And let me get this one part here. It's kind of kind of messy. Okay, flipping it back here with that rotation tool. Fantastic. All right. Now I said before, change what you know. Do what you can't change first which is really the body. It really doesn't change. If you, do, if you change it, it looks weird. And then, but then, change what you can change. And that's gonna be the wheels. That's where we're gonna breathe life into this car and make it cool, make it look like it's just hauling ass somewhere, you know, just taking off. So I'm actually going to put that on another layer, the, the wheels. And I'm not going to draw a lot of the wheel. Um, you know, I'll just draw the tire, but not, not the details of the wheel. I'm going to kind of just throw in here some indication. This, I'm already starting to give it a little bit of speed and expression. Now I may put the, these little guys in the middle here. But just... I'm, I'm adding some action here already. I want I want movement on this car, man. So I'm putting, I'm starting to put my some expression into it. table here a little bit okay let's get this wheel in here and getting some spin on these wheels because I really want this thing to be flying That's on a different layer now. Okay, let's see. Take out the reference and see what this car is looking like. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let me go back and see. I might add just a, a little more shape to this baby. Let's see. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And I'm going to clean up a little bit of these lines here, try to get these 
wheel wells a little bit. But I'm not, I'm not going to make this perfect. I would do a little better job if I was was doing this, you know, for for work. But just getting you, just trying to get the feel. Of it. Just give you the idea. We're trying to show the idea of what you can do to make a car comic like. I think I'm just about getting there. Okay. All right, now I'm going to put my, let's see those perspective lines again. behind those perspective lines I don't think I really want the I don't need these I don't need this one just these for now okay so let's make this give it some action lines because so we're gonna try to breathe some life actually I think I'm gonna I'm gonna work on the wheels first now let me just duplicate the layers command J duplicates a layer in, on your Mac, and I'm going to there's I'll put this somewhere else. So mistake. I'm going to take these wheels, and I'm going to. I said you, you like I said you can change the you know these uh, what are the things I want to change that make a difference. I'm going to take these and make it make them distorted a little bit like this. This is actually wrong. You know this is this is a good example of what I'm going to show you here is how to do something wrong, but it looks kind of fun. And wheels, messing with the wheels, the perspective of the wheels is fun. It makes it kind of fun. Something that wouldn't happen, it's not happening. But this is how you breathe life into a, a car. Well, or one of the techniques. So I'm making them larger in the wheel well. Okay, I'm gonna take out the reference now and just actually work on these wheels so you can kind of see what I'm going to try with them. Where is that? Which layer am I on here? Okay, have I deselected that? Okay. okay. First, I'm going to just draw the the, the regular in you know, the wheel I traced. And I'm putting a highlight on the top edge of it. And these wheels are so thin, I don't know if I'll put a, a highlight on the bottom edge of it or not. But here's the thing, I'm gonna take this now and distort it even more. I'm taking this wheel, like almost like this rubber is being ripped out and it goes, it's being squished out as this thing turns. So a lot of crazy stuff is happening to this car's wheel. Still keeping it somewhat reflective up here. Okay, so it's really stretching out. And I can perhaps add a little bit of a highlight down here because I am stretching it out. I'm gonna color in the wheel well here. Just I'll just make that part of the wheel. Okay, this one the same thing. I 
this wheel is doing things a wheel's not supposed to do. And that's comics. Super superheroes, supercars. Okay, I'm gonna stretch this out again. Take I'll take it way out. It was about to come off. Okay, you can do whatever you want with your wheels. You you can keep them normal if you wanted to, if that if if that's what suits you. I'm doing some exaggerations just for fun. Okay, so now you can see we got some funky stuff happening here. Even though I'm stretching this out, I, I do want it to be symmetrical and, and, or, or, you know, still be the curvature be correct. Okay. <laughs> okay, next thing I'm going to try is I'm going to put some action lines on this thing. And this is where you really want to go nuts. You know, the Japanese anime, they, they do this stuff great, you know. So I'm gonna give it a shot here. Just I'm just gonna freelance or you know, freehand it. Following my perspective lines there. That looks like, see, that's starting to look like it's going pretty fast. See how that looks. It's looking pretty good. Or looking pretty bad. <laughs> Take out some of these a little bit. Maybe. So not perfect, but it's okay. Don't you get the picture? Again, I would probably just you know get out a straight edge and make these a little bit nicer if I but actually sometimes you don't. You want you want to keep it, you know, freehand and loose. You know, that's fun and cool. All right. Let's around a little bit here. Let's see if I can do some really long ones here. Okay. I got. <laughs> now there's a challenge. Try to draw a straight line. Without a ruler. <laughs> Those are terrible. Okay, let me try to get these. Concentrate. Focus, Dan, focus. Challenge. Set before you. Okay. I think that's enough. Okay, so we got a car now. It looks like it's really booking, man. That's kind of fun. So, but we need more energy to this still. And uh, I created in advance in Comic Life <laughs> a wheel, uh, a word. So that helps right there. We're going to add that later, though. But what I'm going to do is add more energy lines. Let's see, create a, a new layer here. 
I'm going to do some something like this. Give it a little more like tearing up the road type thing. That's kind of fun. But then I'm going to do probably most importantly is the, is is some smoke. This really gives it a real feel like it's just taking off like crazy. It's so great about Photoshop, you can really play around. Now, I'm actually gonna go over here and add, probably underneath the smoke, a layer, and add some white, just because I want to, uh, you know, I mean, you can really make it look like smoke in Photoshop, so. Okay, I'm going to add more uh, spin to the wheels or a little more line work to the wheels. Wait a minute, I gotta get that. Okay. Those wheels look like they're tearing things up. Okay, now I'm gonna add my lettering. See, this car is starting to look like it is taking off, man. It is just flying. Now the last touch I think I'm gonna do is add just little bits of paper. Whoops, that's too thick of a brush. So, you know, junk, whatever, flying around here. You know, just a little bits of, of maybe a bit of earth that's being chewed up by the car wheel <laughs> or dust being kicked up. Okay. Yeah, those lines look terrible back there. Yikes. Let's see if I can clean them up a little bit. There we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so now this looks like not a uh, a trace car. It doesn't look like a like I used the reference as much. Much better. Much better. You look at someone like Sean Gordon Murphy or something like that, how he does cars. He's using reference, you can tell. But he has a lot of feel in his line work. You know, look at my, my uh, video on how to... Um, uh, what do Sean Gordon Murphy, Kevin Nolan, and uh, Travis Therese have in common. You'll get kind of a good idea of how to handle line work give the, give things life energy because those guys are masters of it okay this isn't too bad i might want to do a little bit more uh well i won't do it on that layer hang on a second just erase it let me put it on a different layer actually 
right underneath it. And I want some shadow on this car. But I kind of like it to be energetic, you know, moving shadow. Which doesn't look that good, but just something. So it doesn't, it looks like there's a little bit of space between the car and the ground. I don't know. We'll leave, we'll leave, we won't worry about, about that too much. Maybe just a little soft. Like this. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Okay, I think too with the car, I'm going to take out, out the interior tracings. And I'm going to just add some window shine, the reflective light uh, lines, you know, uh, too thick. Something like that. Give the car a little more feel that way. Okay, I'm gonna thicken up. I'm, I think I'm gonna bolden up these lines just a little bit more. These are, I call these, uh, they call these holding lines. You know, that, that your exterior line, that's your holding line. Holds the thing together. And they always tend to be thicker on no matter what. You draw a figure, person, anything. They will be thicker. They kind of hold it together. Okay, man. That was kind of fun. <laughs> you know, like I said, I'd, I'd spend a little more time on it, make it a little bit cooler if I was, you know, really putting it together. So, uh, for you know, for for real, spend more time getting these ellipses nice. And I might even el use ellipse guides and then, you know, ma manipulate them and stuff like that and get get these more precise because you do want precision with a car with a, with a technical, you know, object. So that's it that's uh that's my uh car because i could add a little bit of of tone but um i would want to be careful of that too i just don't want to you know sometimes it make it makes it more static or sometimes you want to leave something for the colors to do good but you could leave a little put a little reflectiveness in some of the stuff Yeah, something like that, but I don't like it. So <laughs> it's cool just as is. Yeah, but that's 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 my car, man. That's you know I could be, uh, keep adding more action lines. You know, it could be something where you know you you throw in a little more speed on the on the wheels, speed lines on the wheels. The wheels is, is really the, the focus. That's where you really want to. So you want your your technical stuff like up here again. I would if I was doing this for print, I would really get in here and make these lines. You know, just nice and clean and perfect, which takes a little bit of time. But this is a video and can't keep it too long, so I got. It. I'm just doing it a little more looser. But that does actually help the. Uh, the power of the thing too. The wheel is really important though. Just getting something that just looks like it's just you know it's fantastic, you know, ripping, moving, powerful, energetic, you know, screech kind of. I mean, you want to say that with the cars, visual as well as the word. 
So this car is taking off. So let's see this reference that we'll compare here. Hang on a second. Let me make these all in one group. Here's the car. Let's actually, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put this car over here. And I'll bring the, the art over here. And you can kind of see what I did. There we go. Successfully used that reference, I think. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Actually, I, could, I realize there's a mistake here. Just in the granite and finish the grill, which makes kind of a difference. Where's the, uh, right here with the, the car here? So it looks cool. Looks like it's you know something's happening. This is a story. This car just sitting here, and uh, now it's got some energy. Um, it got some power to it. I feel like I can just it can get in here and, and just you know exaggerate this stuff even a little more. The again, you really want to make the best of your reference and really take advantage of everything that's in it. And I don't think I'm fully doing that, but it's close enough for a demonstration. Just so, so you know, when it comes to certain things, cars, people don't don't trace people. That's not good. That, that, but with car technical things, they can't. You, you can use. You need really to use reference if you want them to look good. But then that's just a starting point. So that's the one. That's all for today, folks. And I will uh, see you in the next tutorial. Let me know in the comments what you think of this and any ideas you have about how you do cars or good artists that you like, comic artists that you enjoy, who do uh, great cars. Um, so there, there's not a lot actually out there. Alex Toth. Um, Michael Golden actually does interesting vehicles and stuff like that. So good tech. So those are a couple of good guys to look at. And uh, but that's it for today. And we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And thank you for being here and enjoying these along with me. See you. Bye.